Hey guys, what's going on? Colorado Car Guys. Here, Jeremy, once again, got your bi weekly Jeremy fix here. Yo! Um, and we've all discovered something new with Monarchs. Sort of, kind of. Kind of, sort of, something like that. And it's, uh, it's the new Power Ranger cards. Power Rangers. We're Zordon. We, we don't do that. Oh, we don't? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, um,. Everybody likes your deck profiles, so we figured we'd give you guys another one here with the uh, the Quantum Monarchs with Etelis and such. So quantum. Quantum. That's how they are? It's like quantum physics, but with tribute summons. Okay, well, let's get into the list here. You're going to explain a few card choices. Yeah, let's go. First, we got a little white bitch. Of course. Uh, this card's really good, especially as the other guy. This is the other guy. Little black man. He gives you an extra tribute summon. When you one for one these guys out, you win the game. Uh, big black guy. He's uh, really pretty when he's not in English, and he doesn't target, and he shuffles a card from the field, or grave, or a random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. And like the other big one, they send two monarch spell traps from deck to grave. Three of this lady. She can tribute on your opponent's turn, special another one, attack for a lot of damage, or... Is she good? She's really good. You can you can storm forth on their turn, and then just be like, drop the bitch. Gotcha. And then uh, win the game. All right, cool. I like winning games. Yeah, I like winning games, too. And then uh, I only played two fiends this time, Majesty's Fiend. Do you think this is the better one right now? Uh, right now it is, yeah. Like... Like, all the Pendulum monsters started playing like Turn Toad and stuff in the main deck. And, uh, like, you can still get over this, but it stops more of their plays than anything. Like, okay. they, it's, it's good. I like it. And then, uh, we got some new cards here Blue and the Redman. Okay, what are these cards specifically doing? Why do they contribute to the deck? Okay, so, like, basically, if you summon. If you just normal summon this bitch, and they Valor it, you're probably just gonna lose. So you need more ways to be able to Tribute Summon in the deck, and have, like, Tribute Fodder. So you play this level 3 Psychic Monster, that you can use the Emergency Teleport on, and when it's summoned, it adds one of these. And it's a level 5, so you can Tribute Summon. So, like, if you open e -Telly Return, you can Tribute over it, get a search for Ether, and then start doing plays on your opponent's turn or whatever. And, uh... When it hits Grave, it shuffles itself and other quantum cards back into the deck. And then, so you always have an Etelli target. That's pretty broken. That's yeah, pretty so cool. it's, it's really good. And then this is Cyber Dragon, so if you open it, you can just, like, special him out. And then when he's summoned, he, uh... You can add a quantum from Grave to hand. Of course. And then when it when it dies, you can special one out, but it can't activate its effect. That's pretty cool. Okay. So it's, it's pretty good. That's all for the monsters, right? Yeah, that's all the monsters. Alright. Uh, Upstart Goblin because consistency issues. Uh, three e Telly for the the one card in the deck. So, gives you Tribute Fodder. It, it, it helps the deck's consistency, I think. Uh, of course, three Storm Force. Yeah. Three of the best card in the deck. Three of the Search Everything. Of course. Draw all the cards and search some more, basically. And then return. I'm thinking about putting this up to two, maybe. Um, but I don't know. It, like you can just search it, and you there's a lot of draw power in the deck, so okay. you, you can get to it pretty fast. And then for a couple one ofs, play uh, the one for one and the foolish. Okay. Because this is like game. This is game. Like you can summon out Vanity's Fiend, Majesty's Fiend, pass. Like. It's just it's it's pretty good. too good. And then uh, the two traps. Uh, I kind of want to find room for the third one because it's good to open with the Pantheism card. And in the mirror match, I like it to be face up on the field. 
Okay. And it helps you stay in the game against the mirror match. Awesome. What do you think about this deck? Going forward, would you play this at a tournament like a regional? Uh, yeah, definitely, for sure. I played it at YCS Atlanta, and uh, I lost, with, well, without the Super Quantums, but I lost the last round of day one, and I was sad. But uh, overall, it was a pretty good performance. I didn't expect it to do that well, but I did really good. The, the deck didn't break as much as people say it does, and uh, I'm probably going to play it for a little while. Any closing statements? Uh, tribute summoning is fun.